all projects that we work on will have some level of earthwork required. Some may last even as little as a week, others may be a couple of years. The project that we're on today is a residential project and earthwork on it lasted about two years. We started it in 2016. Uh, it was an earth moving project. Um, we designed this dam we're standing on as well as monitored the construction of it. Uh, there's two other dams here similar to this one on this project. Uh, it's impounding about 100 acres of lake for a subdivision. Uh, we monitored all the fill that was placed, uh, each lift as it came up, um, as well as the soil types. You know, we built a core as well as um, shells for the dam, and all that was monitored. Um, by our field technicians. All right, this project's nearly complete. Uh, in a second, we'll take you over to another project that's just getting started where you'll meet Liam, who is our engineering technician and is monitoring field placement and compaction on that project. So my name's Liam Crowley. I've been with Building and Earth now for two and a half years. I'm an engineering technician. Basically, I'm on site when they're doing the active work, monitoring the soil compaction, grabbing density tests. Um, and so basically, I was just gonna run through what I do when I get out on site. So in order to grab a test and everything, the first thing we have to do is get us a nice smooth spot. You wanna make sure there's not a lot of voids in there. That way you get an accurate reading. Um, and then depending on the lift size, you have to make sure you drive the pin in enough, deep enough to get a test that tests through the entire lift. So then after driving the stake down to the six inch mark, you take the new clear gauge, you line it up over the hole, and you drop it down to six inches. You set the depth to six inches. And then you have to, if you could, just step away because it's got nuclear material. So we recommend that you stay without 15, about 15 feet away from the gauge at all times when it's running. And so then we have a list of proctors because before I even get out here, they've generally drilled the site, gathered the different soils, and they give, have given me a list that I can match it up to to make sure it, you know, it is compacted as compared to the proctor. 